This is our favorites video for the month of June. These, Hard to believe it's already over. I know. These are, um, well, they're actually likes and dislikes. There are some dislikes for the month of June. Some really big dislikes. Yeah. Uh, and of, of course, there's always going to be things that we, we like and we don't like. But these are things that we really, really like or we really, really didn't like. So, uh, the first thing we want to talk about are the dislikes so we can get them out of the way. How many are there? Three. There's three things. Well, actually. This we, was actually. We bought like four. Four of these <laughs> all together. Anything that resembles this, don't buy. Well, <laughs> you can buy the soups. You no, like, I'm saying with the picture of oh, a pizza on the it. Pizza. Yeah, don't don't buy these. Yeah, these are the Oprah. Unless you really like coffee. It's called Oprah. That's good. There's nothing good about that. <laughs> Oprah, we were so hoping to. Yeah, it's that. not good. And now, if you like, I said, if you like really like cauliflower, you might if think you, they're okay. You have to like cooked cauliflower. Yeah, because it is. It's and it will stink up the entire right. house. Like and you and you taste it afterwards. You do has that cauliflower aftertaste. And it yeah, not a good. And it, it's got a sign that says so delicious you won't taste the difference. You yeah. taste the difference. You taste it. You smell it. You burp it. <laughs> 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 you do. You do. <laughs> so um, that is a lie. That's the truth. So that was probably the worst thing we had this month. Okay, yeah, that was the worst. But then Sarah sent me these from California. Sorry, these, Sarah. Yeah, she, <laughs> hey, she knows. We're gonna be honest. Uh, these are the Power Crunch Kids Snap Stick. This is the mm -hmm. peanut butter honey. Just did not like the flavor of it at all. And, and the Sarah, texture was bad too. We've said before, she sends us all kinds of things that she's never tried herself. So it's not like this is her favorite thing that she's sending me. No, she's literally, she sees it, it's new. Yeah, she's and not so, offended. No, she's not offended at all. So we didn't like that. And I did not care for this at all. This is the um, Del Monte Fruit and Oats. This was the Peach Cinnamon Spice. And these were just repulsive and they have those little chia seeds all in there so when you finish eating it you feel like you like you might find one of those a couple of hours later yeah, that's they're still fuzzy. floating around they somewhere. feel fuzzy too don't they <laughs> they got this little just, halo around them that's like fuzzy like a planet or something it's just disgusting yeah so those were our three dislikes we would not ever get those again so you want I can start. Okay. Uh, this is one of the new Arctic Zero low calorie ice creams. Um, is it considered low calorie? It's a it's light ice cream. It's a light ice cream. Um, all of these are really, really good. Actually, I don't think there was any of them that we didn't dislike. Yeah. Like we wouldn't eat them again. Uh, this is one of our favorites. Was the cookies and cream. Um, I can't remember if I finished this one or you did. I finished a lot of them. You finished the cookies and cream because I finished the toffee and there was a, like a chocolate one that I finished. Yeah, and there was you, a mint and a few yeah, other ones. Yeah, you I finished I I, that one. I finished most of the other ones. Because the cookies and cream was, we both really liked it. So I left it in there so he could finish that yeah. one. So. And I didn't argue. No, didn't argue. <laughs> it was very, but any of those Arctic Zeros, if you get the new Arctic Zeros light ice cream, uh, if you see those at your store, try them out because I pick a favorite flavor, buy it, I think you'll be happy with it. It was really good. Okay, I, I'm going to show you two things because I just realized I had two Sunbelt Bakery items here. Uh, when this will probably come as a surprise to you all, actually, this is the carrot cake. Kevin really wasn't a fan of the carrot cake. I like the spices and in it. At first, when we did the review, I was kind of iffy on it. That's why these favorites videos are really good because. Usually we have finished all of what we're showing you. Uh, we uh, finished, or I finished all the carrot cake, and every time that I uh, got one of these, I liked it more and more. I just think they're really good. And these coconut creams, these Those are, are really good they're too. unbelievable. They're so, so delicious. Mm -hmm. I love these. So The only thing about the carrot cake, I didn't like the spices in it. I didn't think it tasted like carrot cake spices. It tasted more like a fall spice of some kind. But anyway, it, it was good. It wasn't my kind of thing. They do make you think of more of later in the year. Yeah. Something that you would have around September. Like with pumpkin. Right. <laughs> However, really, really yeah. good. Okay, I have something that um, Sarah sent us. So see, we had a good and a bad. Uh, these are the Chihuahua Sunkissed Coconut. Um, candy bars and they were really really good and these are the California inspired um, or something California collection yeah collective collective those uh those are really good that that was a nice nice, nice, nice bar. Cho chocolate bar okay I have two more that I'm gonna show you 
Uh, these are the Cliff. We bought these at Target. Uh, they were on display. And they say they're new. They don't say limited time or anything, so I'm assuming they're going to be out forever. This was the uh, Tarte Cherry, and this is the Wild Blueberry Akai. And I don't know if I... Uh, I know I like them all in the video, but I don't know um, if I like named a favorite. There was also a Strawberry Banana, I think it was, and I ate all those too, but these were my favorite. The Tarte Cherry Berry and Wild Blueberry. Very, very good bars. I like these a lot. Oh, yeah, I have two things. Um, one's a sweet and one's a salty. These are the Mike Cells. These are the puff corn. They're like uh, puffed. Uh, they almost remind you of the cereal, the golden, uh, the corn kernels of corn cereal. Um, these are the uh, movie theater butter, which is really good salty, and then the salted caramel, which was sweet. And me and Andrew, did you did you do the review of these? I think it was just me and Andrew. It was you and Andrew in the um, video. The but movie I've, theater I've butter tried them though. is literally tastes like they've squirted the stuff in the movie theater in there in the bag. It's awesome. Um, what was surprising about the salted caramel, Andrew didn't even expect to like them. Uh, we said in the review, it's a it's almost like they took caramel corn, but they elevated it and made it so much better. And it had salt to it. It was just really, really good. So I haven't bought the salted caramel since we've done the reviews, but I, I've got a bought bag of the movie theater butter in there right now. Right I'm working now. on. Yes. So, <laughs> and I've had a bag of the uh, just the regular salted. The I was going to say, you, we bought two, two of them. The original. I wanted something salty. I didn't really want something sweet. So I, I bought, um, bought those. So those are good. Very good. Yeah, and we found those in our seasonal aisle at our Walmart. Let me do another one. Okay, I, I do another I, one. I think I ended up with more than you. I have six things left over here. Um, so. I have six now. Okay. Um, so this one is a breakfast best. This was from Aldi. And uh, I did this on my lunchtime review channel. It's the Breakfast Bowl Meat Lovers. And it was really, really good. I don't remember the rating. I usually I write the rating on here, but I don't, I don't remember what it was. It was either a four or five, or I wouldn't have put it in here. Um, this was really good. Definitely, uh, definitely worth trying out if you have an Aldi in here. It was, it was excellent. Kevin has a lunch, uh, another channel on YouTube. It's called Lunchtime Review, and he reviews five days a week. He reviews a frozen food, but here lately, he has been going out once a week. Yeah. So if you like fast food reviews, anything where he can go through a drive-through window, uh, he's been doing that once a week. Usually, um, I post those on Thursdays. So. Um, just let, letting you know he's going to be showing you a couple of meals from that channel. So I'm letting you know in case you haven't checked it out. Um, I love this. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect to. Mm -hmm. Mishmish sent me this from Michigan. It you were is, kind of dreading it. It was like, ooh, coconut. I'll drink it. But, but you know, I, I, that's horrible to say. But I was. Okay, that's no, honest. No, coconut chocolate. Because I didn't know. Uh, what, uh, I didn't know if I was going to want a whole cup. Of coconut mocha but I really really like it this is from the original donut shop uh, coconut mocha and we've seen that they sell it like Walmart it's and so that. creamy and the coconut is sweet and it the the, the uh, just the mocha part of it makes it sweet and I loved it and I drank one right after another all three of them uh, they were delicious so that was just something we don't we haven't been reviewing coffees and this really came as a surprise so uh anyway love that hey i'll do another lunchtime review one uh this one is the stouffer's aged asiago lasagna um, i also think i gave this one i know i gave it a four or five uh, this one just had a really good flavor it was full of, i mean just full of flavor it wasn't like your traditional lasagna you could really taste the cheese and stuff like that so it was really good and the pasta and everything was cooked really well so uh if you get these this is one of their new meals so if you get these in here you should definitely stover's is a good brand anyway stover's overall is pretty good quality mm -hmm. they've got some that were like old school um, you know, from the 80s kind of meals that, that were kind of cheesy. Like the Salisbury steak hasn't really changed much. But right. most of it's really good. But I mean, how are you going to change up Salisbury steak? And yeah, then if you changed true. it, why change a good thing? That's right. People, because, if you did change it, people complain. Yeah, because we, compl <laughs> well, we complain all the time. It was good. Why did they right. go and why change it? Change? Why would you do well, that? Well, they could reduce the sodium. In it, so this was sent to us uh, from, I think Mish Mish is the one that sent us this one. The Pina Colada. This is the Russell Stover Summer oh, yeah, Dream. 
Uh, these, doll. yes, these were very, very good. Uh, she found this one at her Russell Stover outlet, which we don't have an outlet, but that would be cool if we did. <laughs> uh, Zach had sent us a couple of these uh, Russell Stovers, and but this they were one, all really good. They were all really good, but this was our favorite out of the three. So I'm glad that the two of you joined forces and, <laughs> and got them. Hey, this is another item from Mish Mish. This was uh, the 7 Eleven assorted filled licorice. And we re we did this one fairly recently, and it was really good. They're those were awesome. Yeah, they got this like sugary, grainy feel to them. Those and were, I mean, the texture's unbelievable. Yeah, the texture's those. good. The flavors um, are really good. And they say licorice. That's the thing that kills me. They say licorice, but they're not they really. Li like they don't taste like licorice. So if you have not tried them for that reason, then you should tell it. Yeah. They have the texture of licorice on the outside, but that's it. This is from guess who? Mish, Mish, Michigan. She sent, uh, she sent us a lot at one time. So in this video, there's going to be a lot from her. These are the Miggy's uh, Bit Bits. This is crunchy peanuts covered in chocolatey fun. And this was the, the actual peanut flavor. And they did not last long at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, like normally I'll like put a piece of tape on them and keep them for later. These didn't last for later. These were eaten immediately after the video review. We finished these. They were very, very they good. They were very good. So. Um, okay, so this is a Snickers candy bar. It is the sweet, uh, the salty and sweet. And was this Mish Mish too? Um, yeah, yes. Yeah, Mish Mish. Um, the sweet and salty one was my favorite. I actually, um, I actually finished that one myself. Um, it was just had a really good, it, it's your traditional Snickers, but picture of traditional Snickers with salt in it. That's, that's basically what this is. We was. would both buy this one over oh, yeah. the original. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like this better than the original Snickers yes. because it has that little, little salt. And who would have thought that would be a thing? Salt and, and caramel and sweets. You know, but it, but is, it goes so good. Makes together. an unbelievable experience. Yeah, if and, you like and salt. And you get that, the little uh, bits of salt later in your teeth, and it's like, yeah. oh my gosh, that's really good. so good. So, um, okay. These, uh, we found these. I'm pretty sure we found these. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, the Nature Valley Crunchy, these are the new peanut butter and dark chocolate. And I love these. And I don't remember, I would have said in the video where we found them. Uh, but I know I've looked for them again here and I have not seen them. So we must have found them at like Target or Meyer, right. uh, because I would definitely buy these again to add in like, cause my favorite is the crunchy peanut butter, but I would add these into my rotation because I like these yeah, so much. They're crunchy too, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, they're crunchy. Yeah. I like the crunchy bars. I just, you get two thin bars. So for me, that's eight bites. Whereas if I was going to eat one of Kevin's bars, I'd probably only get four bites. Yeah, that's so true. So I double my bites in this, so that's why I like the crunchy one. That's true. Okay, another lunchtime review one. Uh, these are the P.F. Chang's, which uh, I've got some more of these in the, in the freezer too. I haven't tried yet. Yes, so I'll be you trying will be some trying more. more. Uh, these are the Dan Dan noodles, and this was probably... Um, I bet you gave it a five. A five, I think. Uh, it's really good. The noodles were good. The flavors were really good. Um, sometimes they they oversauce some of the stuff to where that's all you taste. This one you could taste like everything. So it's like eating something at the restaurant, literally. On lunchtime review, the scale is from one to five. Right. Five being the very, very best. One, you would never have it again. So yeah, one was like, I don't really don't want to eat the rest of it. Right, right. <laughs> okay, then we have, uh, I have two things left. These are the Aphrodite uh, strawberry. These were in a sugar fina box that Liz in Ohio sent us. Uh, she sent us, it was a box of, of four. These were absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, they were all good, but that was the best. Yes, each one had um, a strawberry on the inside. Inside the uh, a crunchy outer shell was a nice strawberry. Wonderful texture. If you ever order from Sugarfina, I would make sure that this was on your list. If, if you, you like strawberry, yeah. they were they were terrific. Were they dried strawberries on the inside? It seemed like they were kind of yeah. dried. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah they, they were, were dry. Good. They were wonderful. Okay, right. these were sent to us by the company. The company, um, the, and we didn't get anything for it. We just got the free product. Uh, this is Banana Joe. They're actually banana chips. And this one is the Hickory Barbecue, and they were spicy. I mean, hot spicy. I love but it. But they were very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, did I finish these? I think I finished these. You did. Uh, I think I took them out on the couch and ate them while I was watching TV. Um, 
very very good flavor they don't taste like bananas at all i mean not like not even a little bit they're they're more mushy than a potato chip but they're still really good they're different they're kind of in between a, a pringle and a potato chip the the texture's phenomenal and i like the texture i think it, it would probably put a lot of people off that they are banana chips but you don't taste the banana no, it's not banana flavor and somebody told me uh, that right now you can only buy them in bigger boxes of like 20 of them on uh -huh. amazon so some people are afraid that if they order a bunch yeah. of them and then they don't like them so, so i don't blame i, don't I think blame the you, company honestly, is working on trying to sell singles and it, like stores and it would stuff. be awesome if they could sell like a multi-pack like there were like four different four ones. ones they should sell a package of all four yeah so, it's gonna be four yeah, or eight two of each or something. yeah something like that rather than because somebody people don't want to buy 20 and then they know and you know it. what i don't know that i would recommend buying 20 if you've never tried them, if you honestly. yeah yeah you need to try them uh, until yourself. you try them you don't want to buy 20 because it's too uh, there's too much of a chance that you may not like that texture. I like the texture. We love the texture. But you might not. It might be a little too off-putting for you because texture is a huge issue with food. People don't yes. think that, but it is. It is. Um, and if you don't like this texture, then you would have wasted a lot of money buying something you really didn't like. Right. So, so I'd recommend if you can, pick up a bag or two, but uh, I wouldn't buy 20 by any means. Or <laughs> big boxes of things. Right. So they are working on that just yeah. now. And they are, um, we think they're really good. Uh, last thing uh, that I have is from Mish Mish in Michigan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Those were good too. And I think you're just... Oh, really? She sends us a lot. She did send us a lot. She, you know what though, we're so thankful and, and blessed to have her because uh, think of the groceries that we didn't have to buy because or she bought... Or in search Yeah, them. because she bought them for us and a lot of things she found in her area that we couldn't find here. So um, these, I had looked for these at the time. They weren't around, so she mailed them to us. These are the exclusive flavor Pop-Tarts Chocolatey Salted Caramel. And I know when we did the video, uh, we said that no, that is not salt on top. Mm -hmm. But I, I tell you, these have a terrific chocolate flavor. I love them. I eat them like big cookies. I don't toast them. I don't freeze them. Yeah. I don't do anything. I take one at a time out and I put the other one in a Ziploc bag inside there and they are terrific pop -tarts. They are good. I don't think I like them as well as you do because I wanted the salt and I was very, very disappointed yes. that that didn't have salt on the top. Right. So that kind of, for me, it automatically was like psh, right. dismissed. So you know, even no though salt. they didn't have the salt though, I still like the flavor. Yeah. yeah, I just just don't believe what you read. Right. <laughs> okay, and, and you think these are from Mitch Mitch as well? Well, if you watched the video, you know that these would be in our favorites. These are the chocolate peanut butter pie Oreos, and they are the only thing you say is keep packaged. So um, oh. these were so good. Um, I don't know if she bought them or we bought them. Yeah, so. I don't know, uh, but they were very, very, very good. I'm thinking somebody sent them to us, so uh, probably so. So, but anyway, if you get these in your area and you like peanut butter, then definitely try these out because they were they were excellent. Yes. And they were better than just their chocolate and peanut butter stuck together. They they really had a really good flavor. So. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so that's it. That was it for the month of June. Uh, I will um, be having a wrap-up video because we started this in the middle of the year last year. We started doing favorites videos. So uh, for us, it has been one Complete, uh, complete it's been 12 months so um i will have a wrap-up video where we uh, try to do the best and the worst uh for the year so hopefully if you like these videos hopefully uh, you can look forward to that one too hopefully it will be maybe the next day or a day or two from when the time that you see this video so thank you so much uh to everyone for your support and to everyone just for watching and commenting. We really appreciate it and we'll see you next time.